Stan Jabalisco here with a little radar watch centered on uh, the radar just east of Rapid City, South Dakota. The date, May 29th, 2014. The time, 9.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. There have been thunderstorms passing through going generally from north or from southwest to northeast and they have been continually forming right around Sturgis, South Dakota and dissipating maybe oh 50 miles 40 or 50 miles northeast of there. <clears throat> As the general flow proceeds from southwest to northeast you can see the little watch box right here, or the warning box, rather, right around here. I believe that is a flash flood warning. Let's, uh, this is the composite loop. Now let's go to the base loop and compare that image. Looks very similar. These loops go for approximately two, one and a half hours from beginning to end with each loop. Now let's look at the Doppler radar image. Now the radar is centered right there where the arrow is. Green indicates motion toward the, the radar. Particle motion, raindrop motion toward the radar. And red indicates motion away from the radar. So the general motion of the raindrops is from northeast to southwest. Let's look at the base loop image now and compare that. It's a little less dramatic, but it looks kind of like maybe a north to south movement at the surface, whereas the general flow of the storms, you can clearly see them moving in general from southwest to northeast. Now I find that very very interesting. That indicates a lot of wind shear. Uh, as you go up in altitude the wind changes direction considerably. The steering currents going from southwest to northeast and the precipitation generally from north to south or northeast to southwest. And I noticed that uh, when I looked at the clouds earlier today too. I saw that the general motion of the of the storms the uh, the larger clouds was from southwest to northeast and yet near the surface there was some scud going in the other direction i'm located right about midway between sturgis south dakota and newcastle wyoming in the town of lead south dakota so as this stuff continues to evolve. There's the base loop once again. And there is the composite loop. We can get rid of the topographical features and see that more clearly. Once again, let's go to the base loop. Get rid of the topographical features. There's the radar, remember particle motion basically like that actual storm motion like that very interesting stuff Stan Jibalisco signing off from the nerd cave until next time don't get hailed upon or flooded out so long <laughs>